Ohio artist James Mellick is on a mission of healing. Since 2015, he's followed a divinely inspired calling to illustrate the plight of veterans and their canine companions. I first profiled James in 2016 when his exhibit, Wounded Warrior Dogs, had won a $200,000 first place People's Choice Award at the Art Prize, billed as the most attended public art competition on the planet. James lovingly carves the life-size dogs from wood. They carry the same battle wounds as their handlers. These sculptures are allegories, illustrating the trauma suffered to both mind and body. But I think our life continues to be so comfortable that we don't, we forget what the cost of war was. And so the purpose of these dogs is to remind people what the cost of war. And we can do, I can do it through the dog because I, I think, I swear there are probably some people who like dogs more than they do humans. As James traveled the country with the exhibit, he often heard poignant stories of heroism and sacrifice. They moved him to begin a new collection called Canine War Stories. It depicts the real experiences of specific dogs and their handlers. And this time I was going to uh, focus on the bond between the, the dog handler and the dog. Now I'm, I'm entering a whole new level of emotion here. The series was inspired by the Afghan story of Jajo and his handler, Corporal Patrick Tutko. While leading a patrol, they were targeted by insurgents because explosive detection dogs like Jajo are so effective. They both came into the hospital. A remote device had been set off. And uh, obviously someone was watching, you know, with, with a phone. And um, they set the bomb off in a haystack. and. Uh, and both he and, and Jojo, uh, Patrick and Jojo, were severely injured. As he regained consciousness after extensive surgery, Patrick's first words were, how's my dog? Upon learning Jojo would survive, his eyes filled with tears. I decided to de depict this piece. The dog has a target on, the, on it, on him, and the dog is catching the helmet. Of, of the fallen. This statue is a poignant example of art's healing power. When I got permission from Patrick's wife at the time to tell the story, Patrick was, you know, he was going through some depression and he didn't even care if people knew about his purple heart. He, he was very withdrawn. And later on, I would get letters from, from the family telling how much that piece meant to him and how, how he's come out of, of where he was. James finally met Patrick in 2019 when he saw the sculpture for the first time. Well, he had a lot of smiles. A lot of times, very often what happens when these veterans see the representation of their dog for the first time, there's, it's, a, it's a very emotional reunion that, that takes place. While finishing his work on Jajo, artist James Mellick heard the story of a pair of dogs who served together in Iraq. For his next project, he chose to immortalize their friendship in wood. Marine Sergeant Chris Willingham's canine Luca often played with Army Specialist Corey D. Wine's dog Cooper, cavorting with a squashed football Corey brought from home. They scrap over this deflated football, this sort of mm, this floppy mm. football they, they, that they would both play with. And then the friendship up the leash, as they say, developed between the, the two uh, servicemen as well. One day, each team went out with different patrols. Corey and Cooper did not come home that day. They did not come back to the base because uh, a remote explosive had been set off again, um, and both Corey DeWines and Cooper uh, lost lost their lives. And they that was the first K-19 killed in the war on terror. Luca and Sergeant Willingham did make it home that day. During her career, Luca served on over 400 missions, yet there were no human casualties on her watch. In 2012, while on patrol, Luca barely survived an IED blast, and she lost her leg. In the carving, she proudly wears the British Dickon Medal. It's the highest award given for animal bravery. 
I wish there was time to tell more of the stories that James Mellick has memorialized in wood, but you can read about them all in a recently published book. It can be purchased at jamesmellick.com. You can also find it by Googling wounded warrior dogs. James says immersing himself in the heroic stories of these warriors doesn't come without consequences. It takes a lot of you, but it also gives you a lot because it gives you a purpose at the same time. And the purpose is kind of like this whole, from the Wounded Warrior Dogs to the Canine War Stories. And I, I just thank God for having given me that, that purpose to, you know, to, tell, to tell these stories. As one of many who have seen and been moved by the exhibit, I'm grateful to James for taking on this project of healing, both for our veterans and for their canine companions. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.